Many of you are probably familiar with both tank and semi-dry electrophoretic protein blotting. In this video, we will introduce BioRed's new transfer apparatus, the Transblot Turbo System. We will show you how this new system is faster and more convenient than both traditional techniques. The convenience of the Transblot Turbo System is demonstrated by the number of components needed for blot assembly. For tank transfer, you need a mini Transblot electrophoretic transfer tank, a mini Transblot module, a power supply, ice pack, and stir bar. In addition, each transfer requires a gel holder cassette, two pads, two pieces of filter paper, and nitrocellulose or PVDF membrane cut to the size of the transfer gel. Finally, you'll need to make one liter of buffer to perform the transfer. The Transblot semi-dry system also requires a number of components, including a Transblot SD transfer cell, a power supply, two pieces of extra thick filter paper, and a nitrocellulose or PVDF membrane cut to the size of the gel. You'll also need to make 200 milliliters of buffer per gel for the transfer. The Transblot turbo system, on the other hand, requires only two items to transfer your gel. The Transblot turbo unit and a Transblot turbo transfer pack. The Transblot Turbo unit contains an integrated power supply and has two transfer cassettes. The transfer packs contain a membrane, buffers, and filter paper, all in a single ready-to-use package. The first step in preparing for a tank or semi-dry transfer is to equilibrate your gel for 10 minutes and transfer buffer. Next, you may have to cut blotting paper and transfer membrane to match the size of your gel. These must also be soaked in transfer buffer. In addition, PVDF membranes need to be wet in methanol prior to soaking in transfer buffer. With the Transblot Turbo system, these time-consuming and frustrating steps are no longer necessary. Your gel is ready for transfer immediately after electrophoresis, and all the components in a turbo transfer pack are pre-cut and pre-saturated with buffer and ready to use. All you need to do is peel open the top foil and assemble your sandwich in the transfer cassette. In addition, you can now transfer four mini gels simultaneously, matching the throughput of our mini protein tetracell. These three systems differ greatly in the transfer time required. Wet tank transfer typically takes from 30 minutes to overnight, whereas traditional semi-dry transfers take 30 minutes to an hour. BioRed's new Transblot Turbo System transfers BioRed's TGX gels in only three minutes. With most other gel types, the system transfers proteins in seven minutes. Now, let's compare system performance. Here, we have set up transfers of BioRed's TGX gels using the Transblot Turbo, along with transfers using the traditional techniques. Let's see how these systems performed. In only three minutes, the Transblot Turbo System produces high-quality protein transfers equivalent to the slower traditional methods. In addition, the Turbo System can transfer up to four mini-gels in a single run. BioRed's new Transblot Turbo Blotting System provides fast and efficient transfers in as little as three minutes. By combining high throughput with short run times using our convenient ready-to-use transfer packs, the assembly process is further streamlined, reducing the time required for traditional transfer techniques. For more information on the Transblot Turbo, please visit www.transblotturbo.com.